Welcome back to Nick's Wine Journal. Our travels today have us in Italy, more specifically the central part of Italy. More specifically than that, the area of Toscana, as we know as Tuscany. More specifically than that, the Chianti region, and then we can get even more specific and we're in the Chianti Classico. This area dates back to 1000 BC uh, when the Etruscans were here making wine. So there's a great history of making wine here. The area of Tuscany is really broken up into two viticultural areas from running north to south. One band is along the ocean, along the Mediterranean, which is the Maremma Bulgari region. And then the other region is where we stand today, which is between Florence in the north and Siena in the south. The difference between the two is in the Bulgari region, you have a little bit warmer temperatures. You have that warmer uh, breeze that comes in from the ocean. Further inland, where we are today, you'll see behind me, we have more peaks and valleys, and you have a higher altitude. We're about 500 meters altitude here, which gives us a much cooler evenings and warm days. The grape varietals that you'll find here are Trebbiano for whites, and as far as reds are concerned, the indigenous classic varietals of Canaiolo, Colorino, you'll find those here. And now you have the influence of the Bordeaux varietals of Merlot, Cabernet, Syrah. But most importantly, what you have here, which has made this region so famous, is Sangiovese. And Sangiovese is what makes Chianti, it's what goes into Chianti and Chianti Classico. Many different styles of Sangiovese, many different... Typically uh, though, Sangiovese produces a wine that is high in acid, wonderful tannin, good structure, but not too high in alcohol. And the flavor profile is usually known as sour red cherry. But as it ages, it develops beautifully and you get lots of more secondary aromas. You get some leather, you get um, earth, you get many different aspects that make the wine beautiful as it ages. What makes this area unique, as I mentioned, are the hills behind me, but it's also the wind. You get great wind currents off the rivers that run through here, but you also get the wind that comes through the mountains and keeps the vines and the grapes cool. Sangiovese needs the wonderful light and the heat to ripen, but it needs the wind to keep it cool as well. The important is the soil. Um, this soil is a mix of sand, rock, even some limestone, which is very good for drainage. And as you can see from these hills and slopes, the water can drain right down to the bottom, make a great finish. We're end our day here in the Chianti Classico region, and I hope you get the chance to come here and visit.